Welcome back, Leafs Nation. It's time for your daily dose of Toronto Maple Leafs updates. I'm thrilled to have you here as we dive into the latest news surrounding our beloved team. Let's get straight to the action. In a recent turn of events, the Leafs switched up their usual practice routine, opting for a focus skills session on Wednesday. Head coach Keith addressed the press, shedding light on the team's current struggles with illness and injury, particularly in these crucial stages of the season. It's a challenging time, with uncertainties looming over player availability. During Keefe's post-game remarks following the loss to New Jersey, he didn't mince words. He called out the players for their performance, raising questions about the team's standard of play. This isn't just about missed opportunities. It's about accountability, especially with numerous depth players stepping up in the lineup. But before we proceed further, I'd like to take a moment to ask for your support. If you're enjoying our updates and analysis, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and smash that like button. Your support means the world to us and helps us keep delivering top-notch content. Now, back to the updates on the injury front. There's both good and concerning news. Marner is making progress, hitting the ice on Friday with hopes of returning within a week. However, Samsonov's recent injury against the post left him with a calf contusion. While he claims to be healthy, Wall will be getting the start tonight against Washington. And the team is closely monitoring Riley's recovery, eagerly awaiting news on his potential return to the lineup. As the Leafs navigate through these challenging times, one thing remains constant, our unwavering support. Let's rally behind our team, showing them that we're here through thick and thin. Stay tuned for more updates, analysis, and highlights as the Leafs continue their journey towards greatness. Drop a comment below sharing your thoughts on the latest developments.